The bar he owned is a Detroit institution. Honest John Thompson, the former owner of Honest John's in Detroit, has passed away at the age of 66 from congestive heart failure. So our Priya man shows us uh, John leaves behind a legacy that is a lot bigger than just a bar. Honest John's is more than a bar. It's a Detroit staple, a watering hole with its own unique vibe and universal appeal. And the man the bar is named after was just as nuanced. He was the most complicated, simple man in the world. John Thompson's family spoke to us from Florida, where the 66 year old spent the last year of his storied life. Right now, I'm just devastated. John was born in Detroit and grew up in Cass Corridor. He opened the bar's original location on Field Street near Belle Isle more than 30 years ago, and it quickly developed a cult following. The bar was great because I could be sitting there with a homeless person on my left and the CEO of G GM on my right, and the three of us could sit there talking over drinks like we had known each other for 20 years. He moved the bar to Midtown in 2002, long before the area became one of the city's hottest zip codes. It's, it's funny because he, he, he kind of bought that location as a, almost as a joke, but it was a stroke of genius because, I mean, it's like he knew that, that it was gonna redevelop. Like many of us, John had his share of struggles, personally and professionally. He alienated a lot of people because, you know, he was he was a complicated man and that was the complicated part of him and he had a lot of demons that he fought. Okay. But he had a he had a heart of gold. He was known for his charitable work. Every winter, dips for toys raised money to buy Detroit kids Christmas presents and he continued to give back in Florida. They had an assembly line going, they pumped up all <laughs> 500 of those balls and they were all you know, tagged as being from Esther, his from dog. Esther. That's what people are going to remember about him. How generous he was, how much he loved the city, how much he cared about the kids, especially in the city. In Midtown, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. I love the description of the most complicated, simple man ever. Now, the family held a small service in Florida. A memorial in Detroit is planned for the coming weeks.